Many small islands in Indo-Pacific are targeted by Chinese through their debt trap diplomacy and the strategically located tiny country Samoan Islands is not an exception. The Samoan Islands are targeted by Chinese because they are located roughly halfway between Hawaii and New Zealand and the presence of Chinese military can threaten vital shipping lanes. Twelapa Aino Salele Malelagai, who was the longest serving prime minister, was pro-Chinese. He was about to sign a 100 million Beijing-backed port development project but was delayed by the COVID-19 pandemic. The situation changed when Malelagai lost the elections recently and the new mandate came in favour of Fiam Naomi Matafa, who is going to take oath as the first female Prime Minister of Samoan Islands. After winning the elections, Matafa has stated that her new government is intended to shelf the 100 million Beijing-backed port development project. Matafa's decision is important as it is going to play a major role into the China-US rivalry in the Indo-Pacific. If China had gotten a chance to build a port in Samoa, the Chinese can send their paramilitary forces in the guise of fishing vessels similar to what China had done in South China Sea. Chinese paramilitary in guise of fishing vessels have regularly harassed fishermen in contested waters with Japan in the East China Sea as well as Vietnam and the Philippines in the South China Sea. Matafa also signaled that her country is extremely conscious about avoiding a Chinese debt trap which China can leverage for its political gains. She also said that her government will work to grow the relations with the United States to counter Chinese threat. Samoa is not the only island standing up against China. Such behaviour is also seen in Palau, a tiny Pacific island whose president says he doesn't even answer phone calls from China. Alliances like Quad, comprising of United States, India, Japan and Australia can help such islands and give them more confidence 